Hi everyone, welcome back to When the Past Was Around. In our last video, we finished the prologue, chapter 1, chapter 2. I think we're now into chapter 3, when we were together. So let's just jump straight through. From memory, the diary was the one that had the music composition in it. We need the key. I'll grab that, thank you. This little picture. I guess I'll put some water in it. And I'm assuming plant key. You can now put that key on there. And there it is. Composition notes. Oh, can you hear him humming? <laughs> Oh my goodness, look how cute they are. Look at them holding hands. Now going on the little date. From the looks of it, it looks like coffee, coffee beans with milk and hers is tea leaves with flour. Oh, kind of like what she ordered at the, um, cafe area. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, there's a bunch of feathers on here. We've got matches. Light that candle. Is this the mug that we're going to be using for her? There's no other things that... Oh, that's the mug for him. Actually... Do we put water in? No, we don't. I guess not. Do we put the coffee in there? Not really. Do we put it in here? Alright, I get it. So then put the milk. Now we'll put that there. So we've got his coffee. I don't know how I feel. We just had wax in it a while ago. Candle wax. Maybe we'll just rinse it out. <laughs> I'm doing this for you, okay? <laughs> I'm rinsing out your mug for you. Okay, so we all know about the flower. But which leaf? Is it green tea? Or the red one? Well, looking at the leaves themselves, they look kind of, kind of straight-ish, not jagged, unlike this one. So I'm assuming it's this one. What happens if we put the wrong one? Oh, it's turned grey. Oh, then it gets tipped out anyway. What if it's orange and a flower? No. What if it's orange and then what if I put it... Oh, okay. So you can't go wrong. So I'm assuming it is this one. And then I suppose I'll give it to you two. And I guess I just match the tea set. So you can have that sir. Oh, I'll take that flower. And then you can have that miss. Look at them! It's so cute! This is too wholesome. And your cookies are ready. Too cute. This is too cute. I'll go grab your cookies for you. Don't mind me just serving you. You guys keep chatting away. They're grabbing one biscuit each. But there's five of them. What are you going to do for the last one? Are you going to halve it? Give it to her? Give it to him. Oh, they halved it. And... Go on. Is he offering it to her? She's taken half of his half. Okay. Oh, the holding hands. So I guess this is his composition diary. Because it seems to be he's the one writing on it. Is he composing a song for her? Oh my gosh, we all know where this is gonna go, isn't it? He's gonna play the song that he composed and he's already passed away. <laughs> I am dying on the inside. Oh, what's that one? It's a lock. <laughs> As you can see, 
Did I miss something? I feel like I have to remember this symbol. Did I miss anything? Excuse me. I don't think I did. Anyway, we'll worry about that later. We'll continue with our date. Oh, now they're at the beach. Look at that little outfit change that they both have. They look so cute. Okay, so something about a seashell and a starfish and a piece of coral and a flower. There's the coral. Oh, there's the starfish. There's a box that I can't open yet. There's a flag on there. Oh, there was another flag that I accidentally grabbed as well. There's nothing else. I don't think that I'm missing. I'm assuming the flag goes on here. Oh, it was a turtle. Bye, turtle. Thanks, turtle. There's a seashell. Ice cream? Whose hand is, is this hers? Oh, wait, no. I'll assume that that's her. What does it say? Mmm, diet. No, <laughs> it says my dearest. My dearest. Just like that little heart-shaped box at the cemetery. Mmm, but the cemetery. He wants a seashell. Oh, wait. A starfish and a seashell in there. How do you... How'd they make it fit inside the bottle? Anyway, let's not get too caught up on the logistics of things. <laughs> and let's enjoy their cute moments. Are oh, they writing a little message in the bottle, are they? My dearest Ida. Ida. Is that her name? His name? No. Oh, cute owl. I'll assume it's her name. To Owl. Okay, so it, it's her name. Oh, look at the little head pat. Oh my gosh. So he's writing some more. Alrighty, so we're on to the next date. Did we miss anything? We've got like a growing list of things that we haven't figured out yet. So we've got this box, the my dearest ice cream thing. Oh, hang on a tick. Ice cream. That's the same symbol as the lock from earlier. Five rows. There's also five rows in this one. I don't know what it means yet, but we're going to go ahead through to the next date that they have. Oh, now they're out camping. She looks very cute with her hair in a ponytail. Look at them. Oh, they want to have a little fire going. A pinwheel. And that constellation. I guess I'll use the match to light you guys a little fire. Little bonfire. Thank you. Can I click on that? Mm, no, I cannot. Thank you. Oh, there's another like little constellation thing going on here. Oh, this is where you do the pinwheel, I guess. I'll put that there. What's this? 115, 130. I don't know what that means yet. Should I remember that? I'm gonna assume this is where you attach the pinwheel. Oh, this one's missing the little lens. I'm gonna pop that there. Thank you. Am I supposed to connect these? Connect the dots? And nothing's happening. Can't move any... Aside from number 5. 9.35 8.20 and 5.05 What does that mean? I don't think I can remember this. Maybe I should write it down. Oh wait, is this what that paper was talking about earlier? So 1 to 2 is 115, 2 to 3 is 130, 3 to 4. I'm assuming from this because the minute 
area is going up by 15 minutes each time. I'm assuming this one will be like 145 and then two hours equals question mark lock. Wait, hang on. 935, 820. My brain was trying to make it fit, but then I remembered when the past was around. So we're going back in time. An hour and 15 from nine before 9.35, if I'm counting correctly in my head, should be 8.20. And then an hour and 30 prior, prior to 8.20 should be 6.50. And then an hour and 45 is 5.05. And so that means this needs to be two hours, right? Because we're going back to the past. Oh my gosh, it worked. I feel so smart right now. Like, I've just gained some brand new neurons from that. Now we've got scissors. Got some oranges, keeping hydrated, got a sandwich, Eda, that says Eda. Anyway, we've got scissors now, we can make a little pinwheel. Where can we get that pin? I bet you it has something to do with that, with that little area that we've been avoiding all this time. <laughs> it's the ice cream, it's gonna take me a while. That's okay, I can cut out all the boring bits. Of the little hamster in my brain going overdrive what does it mean is it the little the little squiggles there was this one this one the second right the third left bottom left does that include the dot no it's not that one wait does it have something to do with this Ada? i thought he was just being cute and writing her name on the sandwich it's got the squiggles. If that was that, I'm gonna be so annoyed with myself because this, this is taking me forever to solve. Look, it's right there. E with the squiggle at the top. D, A with the squiggle down at the bottom. I mean, I could still be wrong and then, and then I'll be stumped. E, D, A, and then full stop. Oh my God, <laughs> I did it. Never you mind how long it took me actually figure that out <laughs> it's fine alrighty I still haven't figured out a constellation I forgot I've got another joystick I'm looking for the constellation it's right there and it's an owl there's one right there and a little bird oh I like how he just took a photo of her Oh, we've got their little photos on his little composition diary. Anywho, we'll just do that. Oh, now they're both composing in it. That's so cute. Oh, feather. Look at them scribbling on it. That's so sweet. He's handing her the violin. But look at how stressed she looks. But he's like, I'm gonna go ahead and play on my flute. My two cents in the ring. I think it's because she was doing it for so long, she's forgotten how to play it just for fun until she met Owl and she's learned how to enjoy playing again. No more smashing the violin and breaking. He's keeled over. Someone call help. Someone call help. I don't know. He fainted. It's now nighttime, Ida. What are we gonna do? Turn on the lights? Are you gonna hand me over a little feather? I'm assuming this is on to the next chapter. Oh, is this at the rooftop? Oh, he's coughing. Are you okay? He's got like a little reassurance pat on her cheek. What was I saying before? I was saying this was at the rooftop of their little complex. I don't want him to die. But we all know how it ended. We saw how it ended at the very start. At the prologue. Anyway, we need to get him a shawl and his medications. Oh, Ada, we haven't cleaned the shawl. I don't know what to do with that yet. Square, circle, triangle, circle, square. Will that be relevant later on? Maybe. Oh, are these all the photos? Wait, they've got something at the back. Let's have a look at the photos first. So, 
One is their first little tea coffee date. Two is them at the beach with a message in the bottle. Three, four, and six we haven't seen. Three looks like he's playing somewhere. So she's there for moral support. Four, it's Al playing with dogs. That's so cute. Five was them when they went camping. And then six, six just looks like Ada with her mug and a newspaper. So I'm assuming this is like, you know, when they've already started living together and that's just their day-to-day -day life. But anyway, let's have a look at the back now. There's that one, then that one, then three. I don't know what they're called. I wish I could read music sheets. You know what? I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up and we're all gonna learn. <laughs> I'm gonna learn, you're gonna learn what they're called. Apparently this one is what they call a treble clef. Two is what they call a crotchet. Am I butchering this? Or a quarter note. We'll just call it a quarter note. Can't mess that up, right? This one they said is a half note or a minim. Four is a two quarter notes joined together. I think that means that these two add up in terms of tempo. Am I speaking nonsense right now? But doesn't this mean that when you play it, you'd play it as long as you would a half note? Is that right? I'm probably offending a lot of musicians right now with my, <laughs> with my limited knowledge. I am so sorry. But who am I kidding? Who's watching this? <laughs> Moving on. Two quarter notes joined together. An eighth note or what they call a quaver. And then the last one is some sort of bar line. Oh, look, we can wash this now. We need a code of some sort there. Oh, wait. Is this for that code? There's only one owl. Well, there are nine butterflies. There are three broomsticks. And five of those flying monkeys. No, <laughs> flying birds. Okay, take your medication. Are you okay? You're acting like everything's okay. I wonder what kind of- oh, sorry. I wonder what kind of sickness he has. There he is. Follow the sound of the music. Oh, he's coughing. You're in trouble, mister. <laughs> what are you doing overexerting yourself? Anyway, we need to find his meds. And he keeps clutching his chest. My theory about the story is that you know how we met him at the pediatric clinic? and he was playing for the little kids there. And I initially thought, or I initially said, is he a doctor? What if he's actually got like a heart condition or like a congenital heart condition? And so when he was younger, he was a regular at the pediatric clinic. And now that he's older, he goes back there to play for the sick kids because he knows what it's like to be in their shoes. But now that he's also older, maybe his condition is getting worse. What was I supposed to be doing? Where was I going with this again? And why do- oh, medication. <laughs> and why do I say heart condition? I don't know, because he keeps clutching his chest. Anyway, we need something to- So, this was that thing where we learned about the music notes. So this one would be a treble clef, quarter note. Pretty sure it was a half note next. And then the next one was two quarter notes joined together. And the last one was a quaver or an eighth note. There we go. I did remember. I feel so accomplished right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and water that plant. Okay, so we've got a flower. Okay, take your medication, mister. Look at him putting a flower and that little forehead kiss. That's so cute. I want to know, but also don't want to know how it ends. I mean, we kind of know how it ends, but there's a little hope in me still that's kind of wishing that we could also change the ending. Part of me is like, that was the bad ending at the end. And if you're not very good at puzzles, that's the ending that you're going to get. Let's follow the music, Ada. Let's go, as we've been doing all this time. Oh, oh no, what happened? Oh, he's coughing. He's collapsed in there. He's collapsed. What do we do? 
Oh, there's like a prescription for a medication on there. 13, 12, 15. 13, 12, 15. Tick yes. Okay, we'll turn on the lights first at least. Go oh, quick, quick. It's collapsed in there. This can't be the end. Can it? Oh, box cutter. We could also use this little thing for that dirt patch. Oh, I get it. The outer rings twist everything that's inside of it. So I guess I can just twist this. And then we've got that. Thank you. And I'll use the box cutter for this. Oh, it's one of those wooden puzzle block things. I guess I could bring you down. And then if I do that, and then I'll bring this up. Do I bring this to the side, maybe? What does that do? Well, at least doing that might clear this up. If I lower this down, raise that up, I'll lower this down, I can at least free that one up. I just need to get rid of this, which is then if I do that side and go quick, brains are working overtime at the moment. I can put that there and there. We still need a square thing, which you're the last one that I haven't figured out. What am I supposed to do? Oh, is this that little game where you have to get all of the pieces to the other side without blocking each other? So from what I can gather is that these two different pieces only go one way. So the little birds only go to the left, owls go to the right, and they can only hop over, but they can't go backwards. If I go like this, hop over little bird, move ahead owl, hop again owl, no, because then, look, I can't move either of these two anymore. Bird. Owl. Owl. Bird. Bird. Owl. Owl. Oh, now they're all stuck. Let's do that again. Bird. Oh, yeah. Owl. Blue bird. If I go, if I go, owl. Then there's no other way, but owl. Next there's no two owls. The other one owl. Or two blue birds. The other one owl. Sorry again. Owl. Little bird. Owl. Little bird, owl, little bird, little bird, owl, yes, I did it. It only took a while, but I did it. <laughs> oh, it was that pattern in the composition book. Square, circle, triangle, circle, square. Quickly, Ida, go inside, quickly. He's not yet. He's still... He's not okay. Medication. Where is it? Medication. I'm really just ransacking his room, aren't I? What there? Meds. Look how sad he looks. Was it like a heartbeat? Is he gonna be okay? There's that reassuring smile. But he disappeared. No, this isn't just right before he passed away, is it? That'll be awful. The screen has gone blurry. Is it my eyes? He was cutting onions. Where are we? This is the first time that we've not traveled back to the mausoleum, even though she's back in her black dress. I think we're gonna leave it there for now because that was quite heavy, but for now, I'll give you my two cents. I still stand by my little theory that he's got a congenital heart condition of some sort. I don't know what this, what this little rock or the stone signify though. That's inside a cage. Oh my goodness. I am right. Or I don't know. It could be just confirmation bias. But I was talking about a congenital heart condition and it's a stone or a rock inside a cage like a rib cage and what's inside the rib cage well plenty of things but heart 
Maybe it's also a lung. I don't know. I don't know, but what do you think? Anyway, I've babbled on. <laughs> but thank you very much for watching and for spending time with me. And I'll see you all for the next video. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs> oh, actually, comment down below if you've got any other theories about how this game is going to end. Or maybe not, because then I'll get spoiled. No spoilers, please. Okay, <laughs> okay, bye.